thinking about moving to Denver, Colorado and want to know the good stuff, you don't want to hear all the fluff. Let's get real. You want to know the skinny. You want the real deal on what it's like living in the Denver, Colorado area. Well, that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to share with you the five things that I love most about living in Denver, Colorado. Thanks for stopping by my channel or coming back if you've been here before. I'm Kathy Hansen. I'm a local area realtor and I'm also a suburban mom. Now I moved my family to the Denver area 17 years ago. I was eight and a half months pregnant and I had two small children and we made the move very quickly due to my husband's job. And I've raised all three of my kids in the suburbs of Denver for the entire 17 years. Now, I wouldn't be doing my job as a realtor if I didn't tell you how much I loved being a realtor here in the Denver metro area, and if I didn't ask you how I can help you with your real estate needs. All of my contact information is in the details section and the comment section below. Please reach out if I can be of help or service to you in any way. Now, let's get into it. When I moved here 17 years ago, I had only been to the Denver area for two short days on a really quick trip. And I said, yep, let's go, let's do it. And remember, I was eight and a half months pregnant. So we packed up the kids, we packed up the house and we made our way over a four day trip. Again, eight and a half months pregnant. Well, I've grown to love some things about living in Denver, Colorado. And these are things when I go outside of the area or I go on vacation, I'm always excited to come home to. Now I live in the suburbs of the Denver metro area and I have the entire 17 years, but my job as a realtor takes me all over the metro area. So today I'm not going to talk about the food or the great culture or all the sporting events because I feel like other metro areas of this same size have all of those things too. Now today I'm going to talk about the nitty gritty, the real stuff of living in Denver, Colorado and what makes our metro area different than some other metro areas in and around the country. Now, a lot of the things I'm gonna discuss today seem like trivial things until you're here and you live it and you realize what a great quality of life these trivial things add up to be. Now, the first thing I love about living in Denver is the four seasons. We get all four seasons here and it's rather amazing. Now, the season I love the most, the first one is fall. It is so cool to come off of the hot summer days to see the leaves begin to change to the reds and the yellows and the oranges. It truly is an amazing sight to see it and live with that every day. And just when you're over the hot months of summer, well, we begin to cool off and you begin to get those flannels out. You can turn on the fireplace for the first time. If you're into football, you get to watch football on the weekends and enjoy some green chili, which is a Colorado staple. It is nothing, there is nothing better than pulling out those boots and those scarves for the first time and enjoying some cooler weather. Now spending the day or a weekend day on the couch with a good book, curled up by the fireplace for the first time this season, well, that's a great way in my opinion to spend a day. Or I also like doing it watching football as well. And during the fall months, we get this two week period where we can go leaf peeping. That's what we call it here. You can head up to the mountains. You get to see all of the aspen leaves change their colors to the bright yellows and golds. And it's pretty majestic to see the whole mountain covered in bright yellow, bright gold leaves. Like I said, you get two weeks. It needs to be on your fall bucket list because it's rather amazing to go on some of these incredible drives and leaf peep. Now, if you're a skier or a snowboarder, well, winter's probably your favorite month here. And from this California girl, winter is not my favorite month, but it is definitely bearable. It is not as bad as what I originally thought when we moved here. We do get snow, we get lots of it, but we also get 250 to 300 days of sunshine. So when it does snow, it melts fairly quickly here in the metro area. Now, which side of the street you live on becomes very important during the winter months though, because one side of the street melts faster when it gets hit by the sun and the other side of the street will have snow for days. So something to keep in mind when moving to the Denver, Colorado area. And so just when you're getting tired of winter, well then spring comes. Spring is my second best or second most liked season here in Colorado because you're over the cold, you're over the snow, you start to see the daffodils come up, you start to see all of the flowers come back, all of the greenery come back that's been dormant all winter long. It's like new beginnings. And who doesn't love 
a Monday or the first day of the month or a new beginning. That's why I like spring so much because that's what it feels like to me. And while we're talking seasons here, I will say we don't have any humidity or maybe scientifically we have very little, but you don't feel humidity here at all. We're actually a pretty dry state, which makes our summers, our 100 degree days during the summertime, bearable. And then our air quality. Our air quality is very good. It's not like the days of my youth living in California when we had smog so bad, they wouldn't even let us go outside for recess. You had to stay inside because the air quality was so bad. Or you can see the smog as you're just out and about in your day driving. And it was just gross, quite honestly. We don't have that here. During the summer months, we have what we call bluebird skies, where these bright blue skies, big white puffy clouds, air quality is great. It's just an amazing place to live in an amazing time in Colorado. Reason number two to love living in Denver is the mountains. They are majestic and it's something we never get tired of. So when we leave and go on vacation and come back, I always say, gosh, I miss looking at those mountains. And you can get mountain views from anywhere in the metro area and they're rather breathtaking. I love driving west on my day-to-day -day activities and just seeing the mountains every day. It's pretty awe-inspiring. And the other thing about the mountains is you always know where west is. So you never get lost. You just look through the mountains, wherever the mountains are, you know that's west. You can pretty much figure out directionally where you're headed or where you need to go based on the mountains. Now getting up to the mountains, if you lived on the west side of town, about a 20 to 30 minute drive and you're in the foothills and you feel like you're away from it all. Now, if you're living on the east side of town in Aurora, east side of Denver, down in Parker, it's gonna take you 40 to 45 minutes to get up into those foothills. But once you're up there, you feel like you're away from it all. And even if you're not into meditation or soulfulness or all of those kind of things, getting into the mountains, getting back to nature, it's just good for your soul. Now, the third reason why I love living in Colorado is the wildlife. So we expect wildlife up in the mountains, but you typically don't expect it in the metro areas, but we get it and we get lots of it. You will regularly see deer. And every time you do, or every time I do, I stop and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's a deer, as if I had never seen one. And I probably just saw one three days or a week before. It's always cool to see the wildlife around. So you see deer regularly, you see tons of geese around, you'll see eagles flying overhead at times. In our neighborhoods, you'll see foxes occasionally. I happen to see one on my morning walk this morning. You might see bears or elk or mountain lions also in some of our neighborhoods. We do have a lot of open space here, which brings the wildlife to the metro area. Now, if you're going on some walks pretty close to the metro area, you could see bighorn sheep, you could see mountain goats, and I have even had an entire her herd of elk walk right in front of my car. Now, I didn't realize how cool it was at the time. I just thought it was a Colorado thing and you see herds of elk everywhere. You don't, you see herds of elk up in the mountains quite a bit, but I happen to be right by Red Rocks Amphitheater. And if you haven't been there yet, put that on your bucket list. Go see a concert at Red Rocks Amphitheater. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. It's the best place on the planet to see a concert. I was right by the amphitheater and I had this huge herd of elk walk right in front of my car. I mean, directly in front of my car. I thought it was cool at the time, thinking I'd probably see it again. 17 years later, I've never been that close to a herd of elk before. But you go up to the mountains, you'll see herds of elk up there all over the place, just not directly in front of your car, very often anyway. Now up in the foothills, you'll also see bison and buffalo, herds of elk, and sometimes you might even see a moose. Now if you're on the east side of town, you could see antelope or pronghorn, which I don't even really know what they are, my husband does. I think they're part of the antelope family, but that's pretty cool too. We never saw those things in California. So just seeing the wildlife in your everyday, day-to-day -day activities is pretty incredible. Now, we do have lots of wildlife here, but one of the things we don't have is lots of bugs, which is very cool in my opinion. We don't have those big bugs that you get in the South. We don't have the big noise-making bugs, which I kind of like the cicadas, but we don't have those here either. We don't have cockroaches. We pretty much have spiders and not the big hairy type. We have little small like garden spiders, um, not bad at all. We get ants occasionally, but not a lot of them. Our dogs don't have fleas here. 
We do have flies and we have mosquitoes. That's about what we have. So no bugs here in Colorado is a true thing and it's pretty awesome. Reason four to love living in the Denver metro area is our active lifestyle. Now Colorado is always ranked in the top for healthy living compared to all of the other states in our country. It's usually in the top five, I would say. And there is a very active lifestyle here from hiking and boating and fishing and camping and walking and running to all the winter activities, skiing and snowboarding and um, snowmobiling and tubing. And then the summer months, you can water ski, jet ski, paddleboard is really big, disc golf is really big. And a lot of these social activities, well, they're surrounded by the physical activities. And then we have plenty of recreation centers in the Denver metro area as well. And each recreation center is a little bit different. Some of them have outdoor pools, some of them have indoor pools, splash pads and huge slides at some of the indoor pools so you can take your kids during the winter months and get them out to do some physical physical activity as well. There's pickleball courts and basketball courts and racquetball courts. All of the rec centers typically have fitness centers or gyms inside. There is so much to do inside at these rec centers during the winter months that there is no shortage of physical activity for you, your children, your family at any time here, which is also what makes living in the Denver metro area, so cool. And the last reason I love living in Denver is we love our dogs here. Coloradans love their dogs here in the metro area and we take them everywhere. Honestly, they're like children and some people treat them even better than their children, I bet. But they're like children. They go with us to the school pickup line, the school drop-off line. They go with us to the grocery store, to Home Depot. They go with us to restaurants. There's plenty of them that have dog-friendly areas and dog water bowls and tie-down places or you know that you can hook your dog's leash up to. And we even have breweries that are dedicated to dogs. So dogs and people. The dogs get to all go play together while you can kick back and enjoy a beer with a friend and watch your dogs play. We love our dogs here, which is the last reason that I love living in the Denver metro area. So there you have it, the top five reasons why I love living in the Denver metro area, and there are also reasons why I think you would like living here as well. Now remember, I'm a local realtor, so if I can help you make Denver, Colorado your next home, please reach out. All my contact information is in the detail section and the comment section below, and I would love to assist you with any real estate needs that you have. Now, if you liked this video, hit that like button, and if you wanna see more of my videos about what it's like living in the Denver metro area, hit that subscribe button. I do a video every Tuesday, and every other Friday is a new construction or new home tour, and you don't wanna miss those, so hit that subscribe button. And until next time, go out there and make today a great day. I will see you on the next video.